<laughs> hey everybody, welcome back to some more of this chaotic episode. I mean, it's episode 13. Ah. So, this was the unlucky Whoop. one. Took it there. Whoops. Took it there. Uh, we're gonna hop over to uh, Aaliyah. After getting all your uh, your statement, they tell you you're good to go. Oh, you do not have a car. I mean, she was outside. I mean, it's true. And no one said okay. that she was in there with them. It's true. And I had a badge. 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 Uh, but you don't have a car. No, I know. I'm. I'm gonna be like, thank you. Picking up the phone. Calling Sam. <laughs> I figured. I let it ring you for gotta, a like, while. Like answer your phone, bitch. Hello. I told you not to steal my truck. I, I, I didn't steal it. I was gonna give it back. Can you come get me? Yeah, I'll be there in a sec. Which, uh, where, where are you? You don't know where I am. Just, I'm at the double checking. Station. I'm still there. Okay. They let me go. The guys are still here. Yeah, I know. Throwing it up. <laughs> we didn't see each other. What? I, uh, I go to pick up Aaliyah. When you arrive, I'm gonna be like out of my driver's seat. Oh yeah, when you, when I arrive, I, I don't even like say hello. I don't stop the vehicle from running. I just step out of the vehicle and leave the door open. And I don't I don't enter the vehicle. I just like stand there. I'm gonna sit in my driver's seat with the door still open. I'm like, where are you gonna go? Get in. Okay. I'm gonna turn myself in. You're no. so guilty. Not that. Not that guilty. <laughs> Without saying anything, I'm driving back to her house and we're going inside her house. I assume. Yeah. Sure. I'm walking you, up to the door. Yeah, if you drive me back to my house, I will go and open the door to my apartment. You guys still have the videotape, right? Um, I left it on the counter. Oh, in my right. in my place. Okay, yeah, yeah, so you still have the videotape. Yeah. You come in the bag of Chinese food is still just <laughs> staring back at us. Would you like a cup of tea? Didn't wash today. No. Did nope. a VCR? No, I don't have a VCR. Watched it the first time. I did watch it the first time. Well, that cop friend of yours said to watch it, didn't he? He wanted Jesse to watch it. Why does he want Jesse to watch it? Because it was meant for him, apparently. I wasn't listening to any of this earlier, and so I'm not watching it. Jesse is going to watch it. Well, Jesse's in jail right now. I don't know if he's getting out. Well, there's a good chance that he'll get some help of some kind. I did the best I could while I was there. I know. Holden's gonna help. Okay. Did you want that cup of tea? Yeah, fine. I make you tea. Great. What are we doing in the meantime? Well, what time is it? Uh, it's probably closer to six now. I have to go to work in two hours. <laughs> You're going to work. Whoops. So, um... Is the name of the case file she's working on Brain Case? No. I can't, uh... <laughs> no. I can't, uh, think of anything that might help the situation in the meantime. Can you? What are the chances you could biopsy these weird things under, like, an alias? Just take it in with you and get it done without having to go there. <laughs> yeah, uh, I definitely have some um, sample equipment. I could probably manage that. Do you have any general anesthetic? No. Right, you got a belt for me to bite down on? That we can do. Fine, let's do it. It's been a weird day, you know? <laughs> I'll make a note of this. <laughs> Do you want me to do a medicine check to make sure I can do this? Yes, please, because that'll show how much damage she takes. I do it. You'll take one point of damage. Yeah. Uh oh. You're dead. <laughs> That's all the health I had. <laughs> nah. That was a full health. It's fine. Rainer. Yeah. The door opens, yeah. and the detective Holden walks in with a cup of coffee. Yeah. He puts it down on the table mm -hmm. and then sits. Mm hmm. So, what, what happened? He then takes a drink from the coffee. <laughs> I 
Just walk me through it. You guys left the apartment uh -huh. to get the tape. Uh -huh. And then instead of getting the tape, you walked around with a shotgun in that apartment building. Is that correct? Why? Look, this isn't an interrogation. No one's in the room behind me. Just tell me what happened. Um, I'm going to do a psychology on him to be like, how real is this fucker right now? No. no. <laughs> well, it's a critical fail. Yeah, he is the most real motherfucker that ever existed. Wow. <laughs> um, <clears throat> would you believe me if I told you last time I was in that building, I saw a monster... That killed my friend. Yes. <laughs> That's why I took a shotgun in there. All right, then why did you go and knock the door in on the third floor? When the person you were looking for was on the second floor. The person I was looking for, I found has been deceased for five years. Uh, my question then is even more important. <laughs> I didn't know that at the time. Um, I heard someone on the third floor say in a very aggressive tone, that I don't know, but they're on the second floor. Aggressive. <laughs> At the time, I may have interpreted it that way. Would you interpret someone saying, hey, I have Chinese food as aggressive at that time? <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> yes, Chinese food triggered. <laughs> <laughs> the tape. <laughs> <clears throat> I cannot tell you how I would have reacted in that particular situation. Don't bullshit me. You weren't thinking right, were you? You were just thinking I need to defend myself and stop whoever left that chair in my motel room. Weren't you? Say yes to the nice man. <laughs> I'm gonna like, kinda like look up at the um, window behind him whatever he snaps and i'm just gonna like give hey. him a thumbs up and be like what chair there's no one back there i told you this is just you and me mm -hmm. so don't waste my time i'm not i just don't know what chair you're talking about <laughs> <laughs> well part of don't waste my time yeah we can talk freely here joe there's a monster in the apartment that you went into. I'll say that loud and proud right now. Okay. With confidence. Okay. You don't need to mock me, sir. I'm not mocking you. I'm just showing you that this... Yes, because of the chair, because of the circumstance. I was not thinking straight. I was going in there expecting to possibly get turned into a chair myself. I don't think you're going to get turned into a chair, to be honest. Small comforts, I suppose. So when now? You're gonna find Peach Schneider. Find the dead man. Yes. No, no, no. I don't think he's dead. Last we know, he left the city. Okay. And died somewhere else. Left. I'm thinking he's still here because those chairs are still being made. Yeah. Sorry, out of game, Justin. Yeah. Refresh my memory on the tape. We see a man, a human working on them, not yes. the stick. Correct. But we never see the face. Correct. Okay. Just want uh, to make sure. Uh, setting up the paper plan. Yeah. I'll explain. Well, I can tell you where he isn't. It was just apartment 306. Progress. Rubbing my well, there's only uh, 301. 301. Yeah, there's only three floors. Yeah. There's 101, 102, 201, 202, 301. Okay. Numbers are hard. 301. Excellent. You yeah. and. No. I'm going to talk to Jake. Don't. <laughs> See if I can get him out of here, too. Don't make me. <laughs> I don't think you're the one here who can start asking for things. <laughs> All right. It's either that or I send you to Meredith's. And why haven't you Meredith's? Uh, they're who's gonna... at Meredith? Who's, who... <laughs> who's at Meredith? Oh. 
<laughs> Who's Aunt Meredith? Who's Aunt Meredith? I imagine you guys are going to talk anyway, but it's a patient I'm interested in that they're trying to keep away from me. Okay. Want me to go into the hospital with a shotgun? <laughs> if you go into St. Meredith with a shotgun, you are not coming out alive. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, I'll find Peter. Alright, I'll have to just wait in here probably for a bit longer. Shaw is going to try to light a... Try to kick me in the ass for getting you out of here with no charges, but mm -hmm. I could do it. Thank you. Not my department, my ass. Yeah, it's not his department until I call him fucking groveling. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Jake! The door to your room opens and Holden walks in. He has a cup of coffee, he puts it down across from you, then sits. Jake Smarty. How's it going? You're probably pretty stressed right now because your, um, your colleague by force brought you into an apartment building and then whipped out a shotgun and started kicking a door down. Yeah. That's got to be pretty frustrating, isn't it's it? It's very frustrating. And the person that put him into that rage of fit was Sam. Uh, in my mind, Jesse is always... One flick away from a meltdown. I don't doubt it. Yeah. I agree with you. But that flick, when I was trying to not have stuff like that happen, Sam comes in running, screaming about the fucking tape. I remember that. It's a very stressful, stressful situation. There's no doubt about that. Yeah. And it's very good that you were very level-headed and knew to try to get out of there. But unfortunately, you I, have Rambo. Yeah, I wasn't going to leave him. It's very noble of you. He probably would have killed somebody. I don't doubt it. <laughs> you can see you can see in someone's eyes <laughs> if they've killed someone before. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Huh. Well. So you were in that building looking for Peter Schneider. Yeah. Unfortunately, I mean, the door was locked. I wanted to see if I could, before all that happened, see if I could somehow break into that apartment, but all right. I believe he's still there. He might I, not be there. That was his last known address, but we haven't found him since. He is oh, apparently... Oh, you've been looking for him. Yeah. No, no. I'm just looking up in the files the latest stuff. Oh, he okay. He's kind of been doing things that, yes, may be a bit unsavory, but it's very important to feed the correct mouth, if you will. Um, mm. But last we know, he moved and died. But I don't think he's dead because these chairs are still being made. All the furniture is still being made. The tape of Knockin' House is still going and around from person to person. No one I talked to who knew him thought he was dead. Yeah. It's, uh, he's, he might still be in the city. He might have another name. He might still be, to the people he knows, hmm. appearing the same. But for all intents and purposes, legally he's dead. He's gone. All right. So look, Jesse, I've tasked him with something that I want to give you the same job. And you can say no, because I understand you might not like me. I get this vibe that you don't think I'm cool or hip or on the level. I get that. I'm a bit different than the people you normally interact with. But what I need from you is with Jesse to find Pete Schneider and stop whatever's happening. <laughs> or at the very least, stop Peter's method. If we can find a method that is a bit more savory, a bit less so insane. So tasking me to work with you. For you. Let's say with. I can help you if you need anything looked up. And I'm not exactly going to be paying you for this. So... Let's just think of this as like, like a like a like a team effort. No one's working for anybody here. We're working together. But does that mean like once we solve this thing, will you come to us asking about other things to investigate? Would that be so bad? Would would it be better to maybe get a lead that you can actually follow as opposed to just blindly walking around the city hoping to bump into some sort of big ugly? Well, we bumped into him twice. Yeah, but I think the second time he came looking for you. 
Oh, no, 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 we went to the warehouse. That's fine. That's fine. But normally they would leave, right? He would be happy to do his own thing. But whatever this creature is, has followed Rainer and left oh. him a gift. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that. <laughs> he yes, viewed yes. it as a threat. I think it was a was a reward. I, th I think that he he perspective <laughs> liked that Rainer shot Richard before he went to the hole. He pulls out a notepad and just starts writing stuff yeah. down. If he didn't already know that, he was going to figure that out. Holy shit. That's the only difference from the other ones we've Do you can know notice. I shot him? Yes. Yes. No, yeah. oh, 100. I we, was we, in the, I was no, you, in the room. You weren't in the room, but no. we talked about it a lot oh, because yeah. I was fucked yeah. up. Whoops. There's a lot of creatures in this city that feed off violence and pain. Yeah. I am under the impression that this is one of them. And things need to be fed. And did Peach Snyder create this? Peach Snyder. Or find it? Peach Snaps. I think it found Pete. And now Pete's working for it? I think I'm more like a, like a thrall. He's a slave. Mm -hmm. He's doing these things because he has to. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. These things kind of poke their heads in at weird angles that we can't comprehend. Yeah. I mean, definitely someone's still producing these tapes. Yeah. And I think that's Pete. Yeah. Okay. I think he's also building the chairs with some help. So keep this to you, but I want, as the search is happening, I think whatever this entity is, is seeking a replacement for Pete Schneider. <laughs> Never thought about it that way. This is the insight I can offer you if we continue to work together into the future. One last question. Of course. If there's any ever a job that you bring to us that I don't like or don't want, would you hold it against me? Let me, let me respond with that. I understand if I ask you anything that makes you feel uncomfortable. Not everyone is the killing type, or the one that can hurt people. Once I understand how you work, I'll completely understand and respect that going into the future. Alright. But also know that this is dangerous, and I won't come and save you if you walk into the woods in the middle of the night again. Trust me, that will not happen again. But you did go into that apartment without knowing what you were dealing with. So, you guys all take risks. Was never planning on going to the other room. That's true, but the closer you get to these things, the more they become interested in you. That's fair. But yes, I will not hold it against you if there's a job that you deem to be not up to your expertise. All right. All right. We have a deal. All right, I'll get you guys out of here. Once the allotted 48 hours, they can hold you passes. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, did I get some water or something? Yeah, of course. Of course, I'll get you some water. But you two are still in the apartment. All right. Holden's got three. <laughs> <laughs> He's playing. I mean, Justin is now playing How can opposite I... to us. He's like, oh, yeah, no, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. of course. <laughs> Why is Holden a bad guy, though? He's been on the level the whole time. He has been on the He's level. the most honest. Give you that. That's because he's one of the four. Yeah. He's one of the four. Oh, um, I still don't trust Catherine, though. Fuck like that. <laughs> she doesn't want no, to talk to No, Catherine is pretty... She is not on the level. Yeah. She's also one of the four. So, but I mean, like, I think that was the whole point. I I don't know if I told you guys this when he's, but exactly. he's like he doesn't. They he all doesn't, the, he, all the four don't see eye to eye on no, things. No, not on everything. Mm. He did tell us that. Right. I do remember that. And they're all kind of like playing their own game like such a to balance you stuff. You close it, and you're like, oh, it's all the Yeah, I know. And then, <laughs> and then the, the other guys that are it, the ones that were leaving us notes before, anyway. As far as you know, it was never really fully confirmed. Burnaby kind of. 
Yeah, he implied that he knows about the notes, but yeah. he doesn't know who exactly. Greece. He didn't admit or know yeah, who exactly yeah, he wrote them. It's true. It's true. I mean, I love Holden. He's great. I mean, he never drank any of that coffee, so maybe I maybe I did take some of that coffee. <laughs> Damn coffee. All right. Uh, yeah, we'll go to the girls because you guys yeah. are still at the at Sam's apartment. Right. Cool. So um, I biopsy you. I assume I am swearing like a motherfucker. Probably. Yeah, it hurts. Yep. Um. And then I get you some ice from my freezer. I am going into your fridge and I am looking for the hardest liquor you have. Sam probably it's doesn't like have Arthur hard liquor. Yeah, yeah. It's like, <laughs> it's like, like so I take out whatever like random wine cooler you have and be like, what the fuck is this? I'm 25. It's one-on-one. <laughs> yeah. On one. yeah, yeah, she definitely. Yeah. I like the party. I don't, I don't like the taste. <laughs> and then cracking open and chugging the whole thing. Cool. Well, um, I should I should probably take a quick nap before work. Like, I on the other list. Have to do that. Okay. You can hang out if you want. I mean, what else am I gonna do? I'm just gonna be alone in my apartment. I'm gonna nope. sit on the couch and like pat if you spot have plants, next to me. That might be scary. Pull out plants? a blanket. If you have plants that might be scary. <laughs> Woods. <laughs> ah! There's a ficus in the corner. Yeah, it's a little terrifying. I've got one of those little like Japanese. Garden things, oh, okay. zen gardens. Zen. I'm afraid of that. <laughs> yeah. All right. I sit down on her couch and just sort of like look around. Like... I put on like Law and Order. <laughs> Demonetized. And I set an alarm for. An hour before I have to be at work. <laughs> which is probably like an hour from now, so. You get a one hour nap. Short nap. Yeah. No, I probably want basic bandages too, infection and all that. Nah. She did her medicine check. She I, nailed it. I, I nailed it. It was I, all good. I feel like the moment I start demanding my players to tell me about the logistics of what they're doing with certain things that they might not have knowledge in, it would feel very hypocritical of me because I do not have said logic and rarely bring it into my DMing. I, I appreciate that. I tell them, I, yeah. I try to tell them parts of a boat and it never works. Yeah, the bust. <laughs> <laughs> and the bass. <laughs> Fish. Yeah. I nap until it's time. And you're just watching Law and Order on the couch, like... <laughs> I assume I've fallen asleep on the sure. couch. Sure. Yeah. Shut um, up, bird. Yeah, it comes time to go to work. Ah. Do you leave her sleeping? <laughs> Man, they start singing at three in the fucking morning. Right outside our window. And apparently at like ten at night when it's dark. Yeah, my my alarm goes off. Does it wake you up? No. Just let her sleep. Yeah. Nice. I um I'll leave her a note that tells her like when I get off work. And uh, that if she wants to leave, she should lock the door behind her. And don't take candy from strangers. Yeah, hold hands when you cross the street. You get to, um, you get to St. Meredith's. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I, once again, <laughs> go change, check in. And I head to the second floor. Second floor. Was that the one I was supposed to be on or the one I wasn't supposed to be on? The third floor, because that's the Justin number. Okay, right, was, yeah. third floor. Yeah. Right, 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 Justin <laughs> number. <laughs> you don't know. You weren't here last time. No. Um, yeah, I head to the second floor. Uh, yeah, I head to the second floor to begin with. And I check in with all the patients that are on that floor. Everyone's doing uh, pretty okay. Tick Somebody died. Tickety-boo. Ah, typical. Yeah. <laughs> That's just how hospitals work. People they, die all the time. People die. They do. No, hospitals heal people, guys. They don't kill people. Nah, they kill them with guns. Drop guns. Um, yeah, once I checked in on everybody, I will, um, I'll take Aaliyah's sample with me. Nice. To, oh, BT Dubs left the tape on the counter with you. Yeah, I was gonna ask. Yeah. 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 Um, mm. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll take her, her sample to the lab. All right. <laughs> There's one lab tech working. Male, Sedusa. female, young, old. It's an old man. Oh, perfect. Yeah. I'm gonna seduce him. Seduce him. The deuce him. The deuce. The deuce. Him. The deuce. The deuce. Yeah. deuce on him. He's great. Yeah. What other flavor is purple? Ever. Barney. Barney. <laughs> He's grape though. 
Barney is grape flavored, in case you were wondering, kids. Um, yeah, so I... <laughs> That's funny, since I did my house. Well, you know, we're pretty full up. We could use some space. Somebody get their gun and start clearing up. <laughs> Just, They're dying anyways. But anyways, it's fine. It's all good. Um, yeah, I will um, put on my sweetest smile. And yep. um, it's it's one of my weapons. <laughs> James wrote it in for me. Smiling. <laughs> um, and... Uh, 100 feet? Yeah. It's a good distance. Big smile. Yeah, it's a really big smile. Very strong. Um, but it's only there's only one attack, so yeah. Um, yeah. You get one shot. One shot and one shot only before they realize. Walk up, and uh, I'm gonna try and charm my way into getting. Go for it. This. Persuade, charm. You're gonna use charm. I'm gonna use charm. Nice. It's gonna be your smile in my head because they have the same stats. But if you do it successfully, <laughs> you can still get the charm point. Just yeah. so you know. I mean, my first way is way better, but I like Pink the flavor does not of charm. Go in here. So we're gonna oh, see how this goes. Light blue does not go in not here. Not good. Choose a color then. It does not go good. Dark blue. So what do you say to one? Uh, good evening. How are you doing? He looks up and says, "Put it on the stack." Sorry, I'm I'm new here. I just wanted to introduce myself. I'm Sam. Um, I'm Roger. Nice to meet you, nice Roger. Nice to meet you. Um, I've got a, a sample here. Yeah. Um, it's very specific, though, and I, I would need it to get back to me, the results. Sure. Put it on the stack with $20. <laughs> um, that was easy. <laughs> oh, okay. As long as you can make sure it gets back to me directly. Yep. Sure. Yep. I will pull $20 out and wrap it around the sample. <laughs> Contaminated now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the outside turf. Yeah, you just leave it on his. Yeah. You know. Thanks. Yeah. What are the chances that actually works? She mumbles as she walks away. <laughs> Say, Meredith, this is not a good hospital. Not a good hospital. Um, and I will go. I'm gonna go check on the third floor. See All if right. my friend, whatever his name was. Oh yeah, what was his name? I had to write it down. Uh, 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 no, that was the patients. Anthony? Anthony Willings, I think. Nice. Yeah. Did it. Good job, team. Yeah. He's up there. Hey, Anthony, how's it going? Huh? Sam, right? Nailed it. Nice. Yeah, it's going good. Just another night. Anything interesting happening? Uh, no, it's quiet up here quiet that's kind of unusual for this floor but I mean I get it no 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 this one's usually is quite quiet not many people come up here I guess that's true I mean I, I in that regard sure oh yeah 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 can I do you mind if I go say hi to um, a couple people yeah just, just don't take too long oh no yeah. of course not I a wouldn't security get... guard comes and walks up yeah and he, he asks me I don't he's a bit creepy that guy the security guard yeah I don't think I've met him yet but, um... Well, he might only be on the third floor. Weird. Yeah. This is a weird hospital. How long have you worked here for? Um, I don't remember what I told you last time, so I don't this replaces either. it yep. a month. Cool. I feel like it was something similar. Yeah, something short. Yeah. Um, uh, well, thanks. That's awesome. Um, I'm going to the head injury dude first. Yeah, of course. Whose name I believe is Michael Jones. Did you say Mighty Jones? Michael. Mighty Jones. Yeah. Mighty yeah. Jones. Because he was the second one I talked to. Yeah, he's just kind of standing, sitting in the room, staring forward. When he notices you at the door, he turns his head to look at you. Like, how are you doing, Michael? I cannot complain. I'm doing as good as I can, considering. Can I ask you about the the doctor who's tending to you? Do you are you? familiar with him at all? Do you know him? I do not know him, no. Um, I've only been visited uh, once or twice, not including you. Do you, do you happen to know um, the, the board member who employs the doctor, Nigel Swanson? Yes. I do. I remember him introducing himself to me. But I do not know much about him. No. Other, other than him introducing himself? Yes, he said that he was very interested in getting to know me. 
Interesting. And, um, have you ever spoken with the Detective Holden? No, I have not. I've only spoken with Nigel, you, and Anthony. <laughs> and Nigel's escort, his bodyguard. Right, of course, he would need protection. Yes. Being such an important person. He looks over your shoulder, past the doorway, and then just snaps back to the room. Um, I'll turn and look and see what he was looking at. It's empty. The hallway's just empty. Stretching behind you into darkness. Great, great, great. Gossip, gossip, just what you want. <laughs> <laughs> Complete darkness. Um, last time we spoke, you mentioned that you... You fell from a very great height. I did. Where were you when you were so high? I believe I can only say this once. And I can't say it. <laughs> I like imagine you pulling out your notebook and then he's just like... I can't say it unless I know it can be said again. I, I don't understand. What, under what circumstance could you say it more than once? I've come to bring a warning. A warning? To whom? Those that believed. Those that believed? From whom? Believed in whom? He looks over your shoulder again towards the darkness of the hallway behind you. I look at what he's looking at. Still dark? No, and there's empty. a figure standing there. Cool! Um, I will stand and turn towards the door. Is it Anthony? She said, hopefully. There's no response. The figure just keeps standing there. Um, hello? No response. Just standing in the doorway, hey? Cool. I'll Not in the doorway. Uh, down, like, so his doorway opens up to a, the, the hallway. The hallway, so he's in the hall. Far down, where there's no patience. Oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> Even better. Um... I'll cross, I assume I'm, his bed is in the middle of the room and I yeah. could like cross to the other side so I can still watch but continue talking to him. Yeah. Cool, that's what I do. Sure. We're gonna hop over to Aaliyah, who eventually wakes oh. up. <laughs> I presume you wake up? Yeah, eventually. <laughs> Thor you're just died. You're alone, in Sam's <laughs> you're alone in Sam's apartment. Next, Netflix says, would you like to keep watching? <laughs> I just look at the TV and be like, nah, probably not. I'm gonna go like sit on I imagine she has like a counter stool or something. I need to I need to come back to the real world. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine she's got like a counter stool and I'm just gonna sit on the stool and like stare at the tape and be like, What do you do? Can you give me a spot hidden what check? In you? Somebody just deliver a VHS, cause that'd be cool. But hidden. Oh, just barely past it. Ugh. As you're staring at, um, at the tape, your eyes wander to the window, um, where it's dark outside. Oh no. Uh, but you kind of see what looks like the figure of someone standing in the window, but you can't really see because it's just like a black form, and your. That kind of look like that. Yeah. <laughs> and you don't really grab, and you really comprehend, like, your, your mind's like, maybe I'm just playing tricks on you. But as soon as you see kind of right near where a mouth would be, a red light slowly light up and smoke dissipate out, that you realize you were being watched. And we're going to take a little break for YouTube.
Bum, bum.